Hip-hop fans and critics alike are drawn to the intense and emotionally charged ongoing conflict between Drake and Kendrick Lamar, despite the genre's propensity for feuds and diss tracks. Years of simmering animosity recently reached a breaking point when Kendrick Lamar dropped the music video for his most recent diss song, boldly inviting fans to join in during a June concert. Hi there, and welcome back to Rumor Spill. It was said that Drake was about to take revenge after being publicly challenged, feeling forced to reply from those close to him. Tio put it nicely, Drake's response to Kendrick's provocations was less than cordial. Rumors circulated that he was becoming increasingly irritated and that it was negatively impacting his calmness. Fans anticipated pyrotechnics as they anxiously anticipated his next move amid these reports. Kendrick has taken a noticeably combative stance in the feud. Kendrick went all in, unlike his rivals, who might have preferred more subdued jabs, leaving a lasting impression on the industry. His song Euphoria, a direct hit that apparently left Drake speechless, perfectly reflected his audacity. The song represented the pinnacle of Kendrick's unrelenting pursuit and signaled a change in their rivalry. The conflict evolved into a more personal one when Drake included Kendrick's relatives in the dispute. Kendrick seemed to take this action as a catalyst for greater zeal, and his songs and public performances reflected this intensity like never before. His next releases seemed to challenge not only Drake, but the entire hip-hop establishment as a whole, indicating his intention to take the throne. Going back to 2013, Big Scene Song Control had a verse from Kendrick, which planted the seeds of this conflict. In it, Kendrick launched a verbal assault on his peers and lashed out at a number of well-known musicians, including Drake. His declaration of a competitive mentality and his goal of ruling the rap scene were met with disdain by most, with the exception of Drake. This verse expressed Kendrick's desire to completely change the rap scene in addition to serving as a call to arms. Drake responded by initially seeming to welcome the competition. With the release of Firster Shooter, he, J, Cole, and Kendrick established themselves as the quintet at the top of the contemporary rap scene. This song provoked more discussions about who the best MC was, with listeners and critics analyzing each word for nuances and inside jokes but the alliance didn't last long. Perhaps sensing that his status was being minimized or misunderstood, Kendrick disassociated himself from any idea of the big three, which also featured Jay, Cole, and Drake. He wanted to be the only titan in his field, and he made it obvious in his public declarations and ferocious partnerships. With each artist releasing songs that seemed to step it up, the rivalry intensified and culminated in Kendrick's euphoria. Drake and the crowd were both in disbelief after listening to this single, which was a masterclass in lyricism and performance. Drake answered back just as forcefully, not to be outdone, but the tone had changed. In addition to taking aim at Drake, Kendrick's later releases, such as 616 in Los Angeles, started to disclose more details on the stakes on both a personal and professional level. However, the purpose of this dispute went beyond mere lyrical skill demonstrations. It delved into intimate realms as the two musicians scrutinized and revealed each other's weaknesses and personal lives through their music. In response, Drake questioned Kendrick's moral character and family life. Kendrick's Family Matters was especially scathing, as it took aim at Drake's personal connections and family. The crowd and media were attentively observing each artist's next move as the exchanges became more fierce. Within the hip-hop world, the feud had gone beyond simple rivalry between artists and instead touched on core concerns of heritage, respect, and loyalty. It was obvious that neither performer was going to back down, which led to a clash that had as much to do with their personal beliefs as it did with their music. The story progressed. Each artist reshaped perceptions of their rivalry while simultaneously using their platforms to assert their authority. The protracted conflict turned into a spectacle that drew viewers who were interested in the drama 
and the unadulterated emotional undertones fueling it, in addition to followers of the genre. Drake's remarks created a flurry of rumors, but Kendrick was ready and responded with Meet the Grams. He didn't appear to be playing around. Rather, it was as though he was prepared to light a powder keg beneath Drake.ina savage display of revenge. Kendrick portrayed Drake as a cunning character who targeted each member of his inner circle while harboring secrets that appeared to be about to blow. Sit down. I have important news to share with you. Your son is harboring negative thoughts, he stated. He reminds me of Weinstein, and I can't tolerate him. He doesn't deserve to be free. He didn't stop there. He also included Drake's mother in the dispute. Kendrick persisted in his assault, charging Drake with hiring sex offenders and harboring a pervasive contempt for black women, implying that they need to be imprisoned forever. He rekindled the debate around proper limits by bringing up Drake's dubious encounters with Millie Bobby Brown when she was barely 14 years old. He nudged, Tell me about your relationship with Drake. I adore him. I met him in Australia, and he's been a great friend and role model, she replied. We communicate by email. He contacted me the other day and said, I miss you so much. I answered, I miss you more. It's really wonderful that he's shortly visiting Atlanta, and I can't wait to meet him. In response to a question concerning the advice Drake provides, she said, He's been a great help, always supportive and caring in our conversations. Kendrick didn't back down, reminding everyone about Drake's dubious past actions involving younger admirers. One of the best instances was in 2010, when Drake, then about 23 years old, brought a young fan onto the stage. Following a brief, playful exchange, he planted a kiss on her neck and inquired about her age. He made crude remarks and persisted in his advances after finding out she was 17. This incident presents a concerning image, as does the one surrounding Millie Bobby Brown. These instances are being used by Kendrick to draw attention to the unsettling tendencies in Drake's interactions, particularly in his musical skirmishes. Kendrick cautioned, You're pushing me again, suggesting that this kind of conduct was forcing him to explore sinister themes in his songs. Drake is not limited to seductive stage antics. He has a history of troubling behavior. There are rumors that he hires people expressly to assist him in meeting ladies. A tour member claims that Drake assigns someone to find attractive women in every city. To further enhance the secrecy of his operations, this individual arranges a private meeting at Drake's residence, conducts interviews, and chooses a candidate. These accusations are not supported by any hard proof, but they are typical of the gossip that feeds rap feuds, where opinion frequently counts for more than actual information. With the cleverly crafted song, They Not Like Us, Kendrick manipulates public opinion against Drake by capitalizing on these rumors. When Kendrick included a picture of Drake's Toronto residence on the cover of one of his songs, the animosity intensified even more. This audacious move backfired when Drake's house was soon attacked. Drake attempted to accuse Kendrick of disclosing his address, but this was futile because the address was already known to the general public. This rivalry has grown beyond a simple musical conflict to become a full-fledged media extravaganza that has dominated the news and dramatically shifted public opinion in Kendrick's favor. The song's success may be seen in the fact that it topped the Billboard Hot 100. Kendrick's concerts were more than just performances. They were a celebration of his victories, especially the one in June, where he sang the song six times in front of an enthusiastic audience. Hearing his own followers sing along to a diss track against him was more than just a record being sung. It was a message and psychological attack that must have had a profound impact on Drake. Kendrick didn't back down, in spite of the backlash. In just three days, the music video he made for the song They Don't Like Us received 30 million views after going viral. This was a takeover of the cultural discourse, not just a victory in the rap war. Kendrick posted a moving photo of himself strolling with Whitney and their kids in reaction to Drake's attempts to damage his reputation, 
symbolically demonstrating that they were stronger than ever and unbroken. This effectively turned the tables on Drake, reminding everyone that he had brought families into this dispute while also indirectly undermining the narratives without engaging them directly. In addition to winning a song fight, Kendrick's tactic of retaliating against Drake is intended to harm Drake's reputation on a personal and professional level. Kendrick has solidified his status as the leading force in the hip-hop business as a result of the conflict, which has transcended music to become a spectacle of public perception and media involvement. The most important question still stands as the drama develops. How will Drake react? Is he able to rebut this powerful story, or does Kendrick have the upper hand? While admirers and detractors observe, some express empathy for Drake, pointing out his social media allusions to mental health issues. Recent pictures of Drake appearing worn out show how much pressure Kendrick's constant attacks have placed on him. Reactions to this ongoing struggle have been mixed. Some people think it's hilarious, while others think it's over the top. It's unclear how Drake will handle these choppy waters when things get more intense. This fight has developed into a story that pushes the boundaries of rap competition, making it a landmark conflict in the music business. Subscribe Rumor Spill for more videos.